Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and it's Saturday, Slashback Saturday. This is a segment created by my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where he creates a theme, and we watch a slasher movie based on that theme and do a review. This week, it's Religious Slashers, and I've actually been looking for an excuse to do this one. <laughs> the film that I'm going to be reviewing is Crossbearer. I actually got this also from my buddy Hobbs because um, I did a review earlier in the week where I got one of the films from him. This I got from winning his Terror Trivia first place prize. Now, Crossbearer is a 2013 film which runs approximately 71 minutes and is written and directed by Adam Albrand. Now, he was responsible for The Burnt House the Cemetery, and Hunters. Brad. <laughs> this stars Isaac Williams as Crossbearer. He was in The Mind. Natalie Jean as Heather. She was in The Cemetery, Find Me, and Mary. And J.D. Brown as Harry. He was in Hunters, the Cemetery, Find Me, and The Reunion. Now, this film was originally going to be called The Strip Club, Strip Club Slaughter, and it does have a bit to do with the title. Now, this, of course, is Crossbearer, The Hammer of God, and your synopsis is you have a guy who's very, very religious, who is finally on the brink of snapping, or actually, he's already snapped, and he's picking out undesirables for him to kill. Now, the people that he's targeted are strippers, prostitutes, they're pimps, and drug dealers, all in all. This group of people, which consists of everyone I've mentioned above, goes to a warehouse to complete a drug deal, and he dispatches them one by one in glorious fashion with a hammer. <laughs> and it's ooey and gooey and gory and everything else. Now, like I said, this movie is from Adam Albrandt. I have seen The Cemetery that he also did. He's kind of known for gory films that are very low-budget films. So know what you're getting into if you decide that you want to pick this up. It's independent horror. It's very low-budget. But he always makes the movies a lot of fun. I really enjoyed The Cemetery, and to be honest, I love this movie. The only one I do believe that I haven't seen from him is Hunters. Now, this is, is of course, a German uh, a media book, and it was limited to... Actually, I'm not sure what it was limited to, but this is version B, and it's number 636. But this consists of the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the original cut. The one that I watched, of course, is the director's cut. Perfect for us slashers. If you like independent slashers, it'll be perfect for you. And all around, it's a fun movie. If I do have a con, I will say I don't really care for the narration that the killer does in the beginning. I've always been the type of person that I like my slashers to be kind of silent, unless it's Freddy or Leprechaun or, you know, somebody like that. Somebody that has a lot of personality. This, not so much, but I do get why it was done that way, so... This is definitely worth a watch if you can find it. It's not exactly easy to find now. Check some streaming services. They, it might be available there. I originally saw it on YouTube for free, but I'm not sure if it's still there. But yeah, definitely check out what Joe picked and what our theme is for next week. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.